Chicago Blackhawks. In 2010, Stan Bowman hoisted the Stanley Cup as the youngest general manager in National Hockey League history. It's all part of his story that started at Notre Dame about two decades earlier. Whether you're achieving in your field, which is at, you know athletics, or if you're in business, I think the one thing is you're you're driven to to be achievers, and I think that's you know you're instilled uh, a work ethic at Notre Dame. He was born Canadian, raised Catholic, and by the age of 12, he knew he wanted to be Irish. That's when Stan went to his first Notre Dame football game. Open at the goal line, Stepperson for another Notre Dame score. So when I was there, I was I fell in love with it right away, and that was sort of my goal was to uh, someday make my way there and. Um, Worked my way through high school, got in, and uh, and here we are now. And in 1991, Stan's dream came true as he entered his freshman year at Notre Dame, moving into Keenan Hall and submerging himself into college life. I was into sports uh, quite a bit, obviously hockey for the most part, so um, uh, I wasn't good enough to play on the varsity team, but they had a club hockey team at the time, and they had obviously intramurals. <laughs> And now Stan takes his love of hockey back to the university. He brought the Blackhawks to Compton Family Ice Arena for training camp back in 2010 and again in 2015. Our players loved it and uh, our coaches loved it. It was, uh, it was a great way to kind of kick off the year and, and start as a group. And there's something to be said for the luck of the Irish. Both years, his team won the Stanley Cup. You know, it's been successful for us, so we look to hopefully keep doing it. And his love for Notre Dame has spread to his own family. And then you have three children of your own, right? I do. I have two so boys and a girl. Are you trying to persuade them to go to Notre Dame someday? <laughs> well, I mean, I'll let them make their own choices, but I know that they are, uh, I think they think they're going there. If his kids do end up at Notre Dame, he hopes their experience will be as successful as his. It's sort of the most um, important time in your life. You know, you really, it's sort of cliche, but you go in as a kid and you really come out as a man. You know, you really do a lot of uh, maturing in those four years, and I think you sort of become the person that you are today. <laughs>